Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Please turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you all. The Zimbabwean community in South Africa were thrown into serious mourning last week over the death of one of their countrymen known as Elvis Nyathi who was burnt alive in South Africa. The youthful man was gruesomely killed by some persons who knocked on his door requesting for his passport. When he was unfit to give it, the men took him down and burnt him alive. The incident has stirred a whole lot of outrage across South Africa and beyond. Meanwhile, the administrative chairman of Zimbabwe, Dr. Emerson Nangagwa has granted a state-supported burial to late Mr. Elvis Nyathi. The remains of Mr. Nyathi is anticipated to land in Zimbabwe on weekend, where the burial will commence. It was contained in a memo released by Chief Secretary to the President. Dr. M. J. M. Sabanda, and it, reads the Chief Secretary to the President, Dr. M. J. M. Sabanda, wishes to advertise that His Excellency the President, Dr. E. D. Nangagwa has granted a state-supported burial to late Elvis Nyathi who was taken in South Africa last week. The remains of the late departed are anticipated in the country at the weekend South Africans are known for digging people's history which they presumably lamented and now, Malima is on the entering end, after his tweet about Zimbabwean women makes its way to social media. Malima is known for his support for non-natives whether illegal or legal and he refers to them as his African sisters and sisters. His main thing is to get the land back from white people and not so long ago, him and his members held a kick demanding Rupert to give them the land back. Gone are the days when Zimbabweans came to South Africa to look for jobs. Now they come to have kitties so to profit from social subventions, twittered Molina. It's not clear how old the tweet is still it shows that the EFF leader, Julius Molina formerly had a problem with Zimbabweans coming to South Africa to add further to the problems that the country is formerly facing. Now, he's singing a different tune and is willing to break his reverse in support of non-natives indeed if it means losing votes from South Africans. With that being said, Julius Molina is veritably antithetical and he always changes his mind and what people needs to comprehend is that, Julius Molina is a politician and politicians hardly do commodity for people, if they aren't going to profit. It may not be clear, what is docket with non-natives is still we cannot trust that, his support for non-natives is genuine, he also have shown his disapprobation against Operation Dujula and said, they're jingoistic. For now, we can only concentrate on what Molina is saying because it isn't clear why he changed his mind about non-natives just like he did change his mind about Jacob Zuma when he visited him to his home after times of attacking him. What are your studies about Julius Molina? Is he being genuine or he's just being a politician? 